Hello and warm greetings to you in Finland from ourselves here in Canada. My name is Paul Raymer and I am the co-founder and president of Soil Optics. I want to warmly greet you as we briefly take you on an overview journey to explore our company and topsoil mapping technology. So why are we here? Growers are always looking for more from their fields, looking for those pockets of opportunity. Where can they save on inputs and where can they add more inputs to potentially gain more? Flat rate application just doesn't offer that. In this technological day and age, we feel there is a great opportunity to raise the bar and improve the traditional practice of relying on field soil lab samples alone. My parents and I started this company back in 2010. Right around at that time, we were introduced to a technology called gamma-based soil mapping by an academic from a European university. Gamma sensing has been around for many decades, largely used in the geological and medical industries. This academic had spent nearly a decade researching and exploring its potential use in agriculture. After being introduced to it, we soon felt that there could be a strong answer for what growers could be seeking. After more than three years of research and studying its potential, getting to know the global soil science community, we officially began commercially offering soil optics as a service to the local grower community. Our system is comprised of two infield steps, surveying and sampling. For surveying, it's a very simple practice. So please bear with me, I'm gonna get a little bit scientific. We begin with using a very durable, specialized sensing instrument called a gamma ray spectrometer. This instrument is a non-contact sensor. So you're wondering, well, how can that be? Well, believe it or not, the soil is giving off a natural radiation energy, all from the slow geological decay of the parent material. This energy is called gamma radiation. It's hitting us right now, but as humans, we can't taste, smell it, or feel it, but this instrument is designed to sense that. The sensor doesn't emit any harmful energy waves. It's completely passive. It just soaks up the natural radiation and digitizes it into a number. It's harvesting the measurements of the topsoil layer down to a depth of approximately 20 to 30 centimeters. We mount the sensor approximately 60 centimeters off of the ground on either the front or the back of the field collection vehicle. It could be a pickup truck or an ATV. So the operator can drive through the field up to 20 kilometers per hour in approximately 12 to 15 meter swath widths. We have GPS hooked up to it and we're using, let's say, an RTK GPS signal to be able to help build inherent accuracy in the base raw data. During the pass down the field, the sensor is collecting a digital fingerprint point every meter to meter and a half. So once the survey is complete, operators immediately go back to strategically located points within the field to physically extract samples. The sample quantity is approximately one sample for three to four hectares. The samples are then sent to a traditional lab for traditional soil measurements. They can be calcium, magnesium, pH, organic matter, etc. We can also measure the texture of the soil, which is the strongest accuracy of this whole technology system. So that being the percent clay, percent sand, percent silt. These lab results are used two ways, map calibration and quality control. Our highly trained team of data processing analysts use soil optics, proprietary software and algorithms to compute the data. And we target to have the map results back in your hands within 48 business hours. There is a selection of over 25 individual nutrient and texture property layers that are produced in a resolution of over 825 data points per hectare. The output file options are generic and flexible. These files can be sitting and ready to use in FieldSense. How do we stack up against other soil mapping technologies? Well, because of the uniqueness of the field measuring system, Soil Optics has a few more strong suits including no interference from living crop vegetation, minimal interference from soil moisture, and the ability to be able to survey up to 15 centimeters of light snow. So all these factors give a larger window of opportunity 
to be able to get into the field. So again, how can we use these maps? The big opportunity with this information is to give extensive detail to create solid variable rate application prescription maps. So for example, correcting pH issues with variable rate line, addressing pockets of opportunity to enhance potash or phosphorus. We have some customers using our unique plant available water map for building VR prescription seeding map. So the options are endless. So coming back to a little bit more about ourselves, our head office is located in a small rural town called Tavistock in the heart of southwestern Ontario, approximately two hours west of Toronto, where we have a growing, valuable team of 15 that take pride to handcraft each and every soil property for every field to the finest quality. Overall, we are very grateful for your time and attention that we could share this information with you today. I really hope it helped give you a bit of a deeper understanding of how this technology works. Soil Optics product has been commercially operating for over seven years now, and the credibility with our international customer base continues to climb. We are very excited for Timu and his team for the opportunity for bringing the possibilities of soil optics to Finland. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. We will be more than happy to help. Hopefully someday we'll be able to meet in person. So we're wishing you much safety and prosperity for many growing seasons ahead. Thank you.